There's a lie that the devil loves to perpetrate, that little sins don't matter. Yeah, sure, go ahead. No one will notice. It's only a little sin. Hey, it's hardly a sin at all. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. That's a lie that he'll whisper over and over again into the ear of anyone and everyone who loves Jesus. It's almost the perfect lie because it makes so much sense when you really want to yield to what appears to be the tiniest of temptations. No one will notice. It won't hurt anyone. But sin is always noticed and sin always has ramifications. One of those ramifications is the ripple effect our itsy bitsy teeny weeny little sin will create waves with the very real potential to tempt others to follow your lead. When you grumble with an earshot of your family, the most likely outcome is that you'll be teaching them to grumble. When you have a harsh word for someone, there's every chance that some young Christian will pick up your bad habits. And that's something that Jesus takes very seriously. He said to his disciples, temptations to sin are sure to come, but woe to the one through whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were cast into the sea than that he should cause one of these little ones to sin. Pay attention to yourselves. When we cause others to sin, we become in effect an instrument of the devil, the tempter whose mission it is to lead God's people astray. That's why Jesus takes this so seriously. Don't be the one through whom temptation comes to others. Just don't. That's God's word, fresh for you today. If you're struggling with temptation, with sin, with anything else for that matter, here's some great news. The only sort of prayer the Bible teaches about is the sort that has powerful results. And we would absolutely love to pray with you into whatever need you might have. So stop by at PowerfulPrayer.org to share your prayer request so that we can pray with you. Again, that's PowerfulPrayer.org.